Hello, this is Karma Spence of Public Speaking Superpowers, and I am here with yet another speaker interview. I'm here with Julie Austin of Speakersponsor.com. Julie, tell me a little bit about your journey to public speaking. Well, I used to be, well, I still am, a business owner. And I guess when the economy turned south, I was in retail. And that sort of, uh, mm. we kind of know <laughs> where right. that went. Right. And I said, wait a minute, what are the skills I have that I can, how I can reinvent myself, basically? A lot of people are doing that. Right. And public speaking kind of seemed like a natural progression because I'd been an actor before and um, I had no idea. I'd never spoken in front of anyone and uh, I just jumped on stage and, well, it wasn't that easy. I went to Toastmasters first, but uh -huh. realized I loved it. Right, good. So. I'm going to now ask you the three questions that I asked everyone for my book, Public Speaking Superpowers, which you can learn more about at publicspeakingsuperpowers.com. The first question is, if you were a public speaking superhero, what would your superpower be? I would be invisible. Invisible. Now, that's interesting. How would that help you in public speaking? Well, um, because I would learn a lot. I, would, I could actually shadow a very well-known speaker. I could be on stage with Tony Robbins and he would never know. And I could kind of, you know, get to the feel of exactly what he was going through and learn from him. So basically what you're saying here is the underlying power is the ability to learn from the best people yes. out there. Yep. Okay. So if you were to give advice to our listeners here about how to develop that particular superpower, what would your tips be? Um, my tips would be to get out and network as much as possible. Being here today with, with you, I've already learned several marketing techniques that I had no idea. These are really clever things that I wasn't coming up with on my own. And you can learn something from everyone. Mm -hmm. You really can't. I've learned the, the biggest uh, trick to networking from the guy fixing my sink. Interesting. What you know is what it? it is? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he was saying, well, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I have too much work. And I said, too much work? So many people can't get jobs right now, and they can't get work. How did you do that? He said, well, I'm a plumber. But I dress up, I put on a nice suit, I have my business cards in my pocket, and I go around and I network in places where I'm the only one that does what I do. Aha, uh -huh. very good tip. So, Julie, why don't you tell us a little bit about how people can learn more about Speaker Sponsor or yourself and possibly work with you? Well, you can go to speakersponsor.com. We're putting on events all across the country. And uh, just go, actually, you can go to sponsorshipevents.com and that'll list all of the events that we have. And Speaker Sponsor is the directory for speakers who are looking for sponsors. And this is really interesting because I just finished listening to her talk about how to get small businesses to sponsor you so you can be paid to speak even when the event that you're speaking at doesn't pay you. It's brilliant. Check it out. Again, thank you for joining us today, Julie. Thank and you. this is Karma Spence of Public Speaking Superpowers signing off. <laughs>